Good morning, guys. So, I bet you're wondering, you know, my son was there. What? Last night was a very rough night last night because it was so warm upstairs. Um, so, my hub's been the darling that he is, brought the mattress downstairs because he travels, guys. And I tell you, me upstairs is, because obviously the weather and stuff, me upstairs is roasting and I mean roasting and obviously being pregnant you're even hotter so me he'll be been the darling and brought it downstairs and downstairs is so much cooler I'm not gonna lie um so I slept better I've got a little bit of a headache this morning um I think that might be because uh Obviously, I was upstairs till about half eleven because it was so hot and stuffy. When I get too hot, I end up getting an headache. Um, so, yeah, I'm up bright and early. So, do you know what? Usually, in the six weeks holidays, right, I end up getting in a bad routine, you know, sleeping in till about nine, half nine. But I've not done it this year, guys. I've not done it. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, I wake up so many times during the night. Like, Nelly will wake up once. Like, do you know what? She didn't even wake up last night. She just woke up about 10 minutes ago. Breastfeed and go back to sleep. So, mm. I can start to sound pregnant now, guys. I've got a puff puffy face <laughs> a dead puffy face now I've got the pregnancy circles you know the circles right you know like the brown pregnancy circles I can start to tell now guys I can start to tell you can see now my face is so puffy oh. Yeah. Just waiting now for my first scan. Um so I'm really excited. I can't wait to see baby, make sure everything's okay. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. When you have your scan, it's it feels more real and you see a little bundle of joy on the little screen and you see the heartbeat and everything. I can't wait for that guys. I really really can't wait. Um so yeah, I'm excited. So I am up and down with these vlogs, up and down guys. Um so I need to start I keep saying it and then you guys are oh she says it and then she does it. But I need to be more persistent in the vlogs. I really really do. Um so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Cause obviously the further on I get, the more better I'm going to feel with energy wise. And it's, the kids are off as well. It just becomes so much. So much. So, like, routine just goes out the window, guys, when, you know, the children are off and you're used to, like, them going to school and having a certain routine. When the children are, like, off for this long and, you know, Especially if you've got children with special needs. I do have three children with special needs. Um, as you guys know, John Joel's on the spectrum of autism. And guys, having two children with autism already, I know the signs and he's showing the exact same signs. I've come an expert, me, guys. Um, I have two children with, like, Keegan. Keegan has three additional needs rolled into one. He has his Down syndrome, he has autism, and he has ADHD. Alright guys, so if Keegan, Keegan don't want to do anything like anything, Keegan won't do it and he won't budge. He won't budge. So, and he can go for long periods of time. And seriously guys, he really can. He can be on his feet and just wander around and you know you know what it is with ADHD ADHD 
can be very, very bad. Very bad, guys. Like, our roofing has ADHD as well. Um, where they can have outbursts. They can, you know, if you have a child with ADHD, then you understand where I'm coming from. So, John Joe is showing the same traits. So, if you have autism, then there's a 100% chance that you have ADHD as well. I don't know why, but I do. It is true. It is. Because I do have two children with ADHD plus autism. But sometimes, like, that's what they tell you when you're having all assessments done, that there's a chance that that's why they test you as well. And that's why they're testing John Joe for ADHD and autism. <clears throat> but the waiting, guys, <clears throat> the waiting is driving me crazy. I just want my son, you know, I just want my son to be assessed and go from there. And then we can work with his needs, like we are with Keegan and Ethan, you know. So, but there's a wait, guys, in there. There's a wait. Everyone's in the same boat that are trying to get an assessment and things. So, I just work with John Joe like he has got autism. You know, I don't self diagnose him, but being having two other children with autism, I know the signs, guys. I don't just say, oh, my child's got autism and don't, you know. I know the signs and I see it in my child. So, you know, I've dealt with you know, special needs for a long time, for a long time with my two older children that are now, Keegan's 14 and Ethan is 18 now. So I know what I'm looking out for. Like I'm a bit anxious when John Joe goes back to school because change he has been with us so long. He's been, his routine has been used to being with mummy and daddy and the family. And it's gonna change again and he's gonna have a new teacher and I know it's gonna be the same thing. It's the same thing over the last two years of him being in school. Like, there's going to be like an hour a day again. Um, sending him home because he can't cope. I know it's going to be all that again, guys. Um, and I do feel so sorry for him. I really do. My heart bleeds for him sometimes because he can't cope. And a lot of people, a lot of you guys have said like homeschooling, but if a homeschooling guys, then because of his special needs, he's going to find it difficult to interact with people and keeping him at home. He's not going to, like, I have thought about it, I'm not going to lie, but the best thing for him is to be in school so he can interact with people, he can make friends. Like, when he got, when he got invited to all these parties last year, I was so happy. I was just watching him because obviously parents have to stay, like the cinema party and things. Like, I know if I take him out of school, he's not going to have that. And he's just going to be isolated at home. And I don't want that for him, guys. Even if, like, you know, he's um, for you plan. You know, if he, you know, when he gets a statement and that, like, they, we've been talking to school. They said that they can get, like, one-on-one -on -one support. Or we could, he can go into a special school, like, Keegan. And Ethan did so where he'll have better support he'll be in smaller groups I just don't want to isolate him at home guys I just can't do it you know I love taking him to a parties where he's been offered to go to parties it puts a smile on my face I I know a lot of you guys say homeschooling but I feel like I'm isolating him away you know um he needs to be he loves be playing out he loves the outdoors and he loves having his little friends. Um, so, yeah, I would homeschool, but I don't want to do it at the same time. Because I don't want to isolate my child. Because obviously he struggles as it is, like, to be in friend groups. I just don't want to do that to him right now, guys. I know a lot of homeschooling people do do homeschooling. I'm not saying you're isolating your children away, but in my with my child's needs... That's the way I feel with my child, guys. So, yeah, and I don't want to do that. I love him going to school parties. Uh, the amount of invitations he had last year, guys, and me seeing him with his friends just running around and playing, it melted me out. And I didn't think I'd have that with him, you know, because of his needs. And, you know, 
he likes to be in his own little circle and sometimes he'll play on his own and you know that's what because i've been like at parents evening and stuff speaking to miss she said it depends what mood he's in he will sit on his own and just like his own little company and then friends will come over and just sit with him and try and talk to him and that's what i love i think that is amazing um how the children just you know just interact with him and come over to him and i think it's amazing so that's what i want to carry on for him and even if he needs to go to a special school he needs more support at least he's with children and you know interacting with children and things and going to parties and things i love it i love it so yeah anyway i'm gonna put some telly in for about an hour and chill out because it is very early and uh, i'll check in with you guys very soon i know i've been talking for about 11 minutes but i just wanted to get that off my chest guys because obviously i am anxious about him going back in september and how he's going to react to change but i know my boy can do it i know my boy can do it he's done it before and he can do it again i just put all the pride in him and all the love and the joy and he he does it he does it um i know my boy can do it he might have special needs guys but my boy can do it i put all the i put all the pride in that into him and he does it it takes a while but he gets there he does he gets there and it's all worthwhile it screams um, this, it screams, we have screams and screams and we have tantrums and tantrums. I don't mean it and me, meaning John Joe, guys. You know, I'm, it, let's just figure a speech. I don't mean John Joe, it. Um, we have screams, we have tantrums, we have trying to run out of class. We have him locking himself in the toilets. That's what we have at the beginning, but fingers crossed. And we work through it. We work through it with school and we get there in the end. And then he starts doing full time. So we do get there, guys. We do get there. It just takes time. And I know my boy can do it. I know he can do it. And he does do it. We've been here two years on the chart and it's happened. And we've got through it. And John Joe's got through it. So I believe in my child, guys. I really do. I believe in my child. So anyway, I'm going to go watch some TV. And I'll check in with you guys in a bit. 12 minutes 42. But I needed to share that off my chest, guys. So. Guys, she's such a little princess. She really is, my little angel. And she's staring a little bit. That's because she hears mama. She loves her mama. She's such a mommy's girl. Yes, she is a mommy's girl. So, an hour of 48 hours. And then the day starts. It is only 7 o'clock, guys, so I'm going to have an hour of 48 hours. And if you don't know what 48 hours, guys, it's crime. It's crime documentary on YouTube. So I'll have an hour of this, and then my, da my, my, da <laughs> my day starts at 8 o'clock. Um, wake everybody up, and then let the day start so yeah i need to go shopping today guys um it is shopping day today so i'm gonna chill out for an hour and watch this and then start my day put the mattress back up obviously not me guys put the mattress back upstairs but start the day so yeah so outfit of the day guys i got this from Temu. i absolutely love it i got it a bigger size because my baby baby is growing and i'm starting to get a bump so i need comforter i need comfortable stuff so i did get this on temu on summer clearance i absolutely love it it's comfy and it feels great it feels great on me right now and i've got lots of room because i got it in a bigger size and yeah i'm loving it and my little bump you are right, Claire. I'm getting a little bump. Oh, yeah, I've got a little bump here. A little bump. My little baby. My little baby's growing and getting big. Getting big, baby. So, yeah, I have got a little bump. 
I love to embrace my bump. Um, yeah, I'm going to embrace it so much because this is going to be my last pregnancy. And I even want to do, um, you know that, um, oh, what's it called? Plaster, you know, plastering your baby bump, you know, the bigger I get. That is what I'm going to do as well. And a lot of pregnancy, natural pregnancy bump belly pictures. I'm doing it all, guys. I'm going to embrace. I'm going to enjoy every minute because this definitely is my very last pregnancy, guys. Very last. So I'm going to enjoy every single minute. Every single minute. I did. I do with all my pregnancies. But this is very special, guys, because it is my very last pregnancy. My very last pregnancy. So I'm going to enjoy every little bit film everything um from my little tiny bump now to as it gets bigger so yeah so anyway i need to get started and get out the door i feel really sick right now but i've got no lemons um out the door i'm gonna get some shopping because i definitely need it and i feel really sick right now i think i'm gonna be sick Ugh. yeah so that's just an outfit of the day so just in the car guys waiting for hubs um definitely need one of those camera hole fingers hear me over and what I, need... <laughs> I think we can see um i was just telling the guys we need one of them camera um hole whatever they are so yeah i feel really sick guys don't really worry sick. guys i'm not driving like this <laughs> um really sick i feel awful just nearly screwed up on hubs. He's <laughs> used to it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to go shop him. I need to go out there. And I need quite a lot of stuff, actually, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. I've got Cody with me and Natalia. John Joel didn't want to come, so he had the choice to stay with us. Our big brother said he'll have him. So he didn't want to come, John Joel. He's like, no, he hates going shopping. So he stayed at home with big brother, um, two big brothers actually. Shannon's coming home soon, guys. I feel like I've not seen her in forever. Well, I definitely haven't seen her in forever. Three it's weeks. been nearly three weeks. Three weeks of the Saturday. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we finally get to see Shannon. Yeah, darling. John Joel's right. The kids' shoes come yesterday, guys. School shoes. They came yesterday, and Cody thinks he can wear them, and I was like, no. I'll let him try them on to make sure they fit. Um, I did get them a bigger size because obviously they're not going back to school for a couple of weeks. So he thought he could wear them now and I was like, no. Um, so he keeps trying to take them, don't he, over? Yeah. So because I've got his school shoes and I've put them away, he thinks John Joel's going to take his school shoes. And they went, John Joel's not going to take your school shoes. He's got his own school shoes. He doesn't need your school shoes, Cody. Um, their coats come as well. So a big bonus on that. The bags came, but the only little bit of devastated with the bags, to be honest with you, they looked bigger online than they actually do. Yeah. They're about this big. <laughs> <laughs> that big. They'll still do like Johnny and Calder. Yeah, yeah they will uh, do. Obviously, we're getting one of our school book, book bags. bags yeah, I'm going to get a book bag. So, so obviously, it'll do like putting juice cups in and stuff, and stuff yeah. like that. Mm. Um, they're not allowed the main, to bring their own felt pens and stuff, are they? The main work will go in the book in the book bag, like the yeah. homework and stuff and reading books. Yeah. But they will do guys, they will do. Um the little is it cars that's on him, Cody, on your school bag? Is it cars? No. What is it? No. I just said that. <laughs> no? Cars <laughs> Um so anyway, it is pouring down like hub sad. And we need to make a mooch and go shopping. So let's go. If you wanna see some crazy and all so lazy, then you should meet me and my friends. Even though we got no money, we sure are so funny. Yeah, everything's better with them. We're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. We don't worry about tomorrow. We just, ooh, ooh, ooh. What we wanna do tonight. Waking up at sundown, the world's our playground And we don't even have to pretend Every time we're together, it doesn't get better And every day is like a weekend We're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh We don't worry about tomorrow We just, ooh, ooh, ooh What we wanna do tonight 
So guys, Cody is driving us to no. Wales. No. No? <laughs> yeah, you are. No. You're driving us. That's just gone to get drinks. McDonald's. You're driving me to McDonald's. Oh, okay. No, okay, yeah. okay. You're driving Nelly to McDonald's as well. <gasps> We're moving. Now you're going to have to turn into Spider-Man and save the car. Yeah. Oh, you are. Turn into oh. Spider-Man. Look at this rain, guys, coming down. Oh, yeah, darling. Mom. Oh, baby. Mom. It's smashing it down. Mom. Yeah, baby. Yeah, lady. What's wrong, lady? Ooh, pretty girl. It was pretty girl. It's pretty girl. It was pretty girl. Nala, do you want brother to drive us? Do you want Cody to drive? And you're putting them straps back up in a minute, Lady Jane. Yeah. Do you want Daddy to not Dada? Do you want Cody to drive us? Yeah, yeah. Coda. Yeah. Cody's gonna drive. Yeah. Or is a policeman, and you're in the driver's seat, and you're not allowed. You haven't got. Mom. Listen. Mom. <laughs> I have never seen my child move so fast. When he heard that voice, Simon. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Where have they gone now? You're very lucky. You're very lucky because they didn't see you. The policeman did not see you. So you're very lucky, aren't you? <laughs> so we just nipped into the toilet. Oh, there we go. Just nipped into the toilet, guys, because Mummy needed to go. Cody needed to go. Oh, you need under that dryer there. Just nipped into Hobbycraft and look at these guys. <gasps> How amazing! Yeah, we just nipped into Hobbycraft before we go to um, Alda, but for a pound, absolute bargain. Let's well, see if we can get any crafts and stuff for the children. Um, but look at that, that is fantastic. Even these, look at all these, these are cool as well. How amazing, decorate your own pumpkin, that would be a good idea. Very cool. And then you've got these ones. Amazing. How are you doing, son? He's doing his own little shopping, look. What have you spotted? Oh, let me see. Oh, that's scary, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, who's that? That's Pennywise. Oh, these are what people have decorated. That's a good idea, isn't it? Hey. A dog. A dog, yeah, and a cat. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Look at them pumpkins as well. Wow. So, guys, this is what I got for all the kids. So, this is going to keep them busy until dinner. Yeah. Um. So... Mm. You can turn it into... Oh, now there. Have you seen it on top of it? It turns into a Dino Safari 4x4. And it's done. So the kids have got to decorate it and yeah. make it look like a really cool 4x4. Yeah? So it's got to look fantastic, yeah? Yeah, so are you ready to get decorated? Yeah. Are you ready now there? Yeah. Let's decorate! Won't you take me for a ride? I will love the feeling of the wind in my hair while speeding. On the highway down by the sea, we go out and out and out. Listen to us, tears go by in the very first sunlight. And we know it has just started. Out and out and out. When you close your eyes, do you feel?
So, look at Natalia's little artwork, guys. She's done a fantastic job. She done most of it. Um, the kids are going to do the others in the minute. Um, so, that's one side done with little Missy's artwork. John, John, you're doing amazing there. You're doing a fantastic... Are you painting the whole car? Yeah. What colour are you painting it? Yeah, you can put it up when it's done. Um, when it's all decorated. But you won't be able to put it up till tomorrow. So, yeah, it looks cool. Little Miss Natalia, bless her. She's had a fantastic time. She's just getting cleaned up now. But, yeah, she's had a good time doing it. Yeah. Then we're going to do the next lot, aren't we? Yeah. Um, because I think Natalia's had enough. So, yeah. Right, we're painting. And how have we ended up like this, Cody? Show the guys your hair. Red hair. They had a paint fight. Yeah. <laughs> I think some little people are ready for bath. Don't you? I Who's don't ready for a bath? Off. No, don't take your top off yet. No, no, no. Yeah. Mummy just told you to put that back on. <laughs> Hopefully the paint comes out. But guys, if you can't have a laugh, you know. If you can't have fun. Oh, careful with sister. Oh, be careful, boys, that you don't head butt the wall, okay? Be careful. They've made the slide into, I mean, the box into a slide. Be careful, okay? I need clean children again. I've got messy, painty children. Oh, no. Right, go there. You've just nearly, no. Listen, uh, excuse me. Listen to me. You've just nearly kicked John Joe in the face. Be very careful, okay? You, yeah, you can. I know you can play, okay? But you need to watch out for everybody else. Yeah? The tops are inside out on that, guys, because they took the tops off because they've got paint on them, but I won't film with them with the top. No, 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 no. Uh, top down. You're going for a bath now, so you're going to put some clean jammers on because it's bedtime soon. So, oh, that's. Good idea, Isabella. Handprints. So they've all got paint on the feet. Look at Cody's um, feet. They're black. It's not like dirt or anything, guys. It's paint. Cody's right. No more of that now. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm having so much fun. Can't you tell? <laughs> Look at John Joe. <laughs> We're having so much fun. <laughs> Oh my you days, are... what a mess. But hey, yeah, that same messy kids, happy kids, guys. 